You gotta push it down just a little bit so that you can close that. Keep going. Mm -hmm. Yep, now open it back up. There you go, and so then... Okay. Everybody. Everybody, we were in unison. Uh, it's another day with the Norps. We're back from Mexico, but oh we're God. not. What? Well, I was just gonna say it's like a. It was like summer. Kids are it is summer. Oh right. Well, here it's the summer. The weather feels like summer. I think there's some kids are still in school. The ones who go to school. But <clears throat> we uh, we left Mexico. You can you can take us out of Mexico, but you can't take the Mexico out of us. <laughs> And well, while we were there, we took a cooking class, and I've never done one of those. So I wanted to do a cooking class while traveling, um, and I didn't know like if it would be way over our heads or whatever, or the opposite, where you're just like, yeah, I know how to make that. Yeah. But it was awesome. Our guide, Pamela, is that how you say it? Yeah. Um, took us to a woman's home named Dorcas, and she taught us kind of like very basic traditional foods uh -huh. that are so delicious. So I came home and they have like masa dough, like pre-made in the market that you can go buy. They don't have that at our local Latin market, but they did have this instant like masa. Uh -huh. um, and so I've been kind of obsessed with making homemade corn tortilla meals. And Well, you made, you did it yesterday for the first time. We probably should have recorded it, but we didn't. Yeah, so I did it yesterday, and then I used, I'm going to show you how I make them in a minute, but I have a few leftovers, and then I fried them today for lunch, and me and Pearl ate them like tostadas, but what yeah. we noticed in, in, in um, Mexico is their corn tortillas are way better than they are here, because ours were kind of dry and like mealy weird. Well, and, they're, and also brittle, they break real easily. For, yeah, for but like reason. even in tostado form... In Mexico, which is like the fried flat, they hold their they, they do hold and together. They, and they have a nice chewiness to them. And yeah. so today I used these leftovers from yesterday, and they didn't fall apart yesterday when we ate them like tacos. And they then we fried them for into tostadas, and it was really good. Put an egg on top; it was so good. Mm. So um, I don't feel like going to the store, and everybody likes tacos, and I have some frozen fish. So I'm making fish tacos. Fish tacos, With like half our kids are gone. <laughs> I know. Um, maybe not half. Three of them are gone. Three of them are gone. And um, so it's just kind of quiet and nice. And so this is how you do it. I have four cups of the instant masa in here. Mm -hmm. And I'm putting two and a half cups of water. Let me show you. It's really simple. And really fast. You would think like homemade tortillas. I've made flour tortillas a lot in the past. Mm -hmm. But um, these are really good. So I kind of use a fork just to incorporate it. And then I start, take off my ring. Then I start kneading it more like this until it comes into a ball shape. And this is where like you can add a tablespoon of water at a time if it's just not coming together because it's too dry. Yep. And I know I said I didn't need to yet, but maybe now that I've opened the bag, Oh, it's, it's a little out drier. A little I think I will add just a little bit more water. It smells really good. Got that really yummy corn smell. So I probably added an extra three tablespoons because the bag is now open. And even though we closed it, it's going to obviously dry out faster. Yep. So maybe you keep it in like a plastic bag after you open it. Mm. But if the consistency should be really close to like Play-Doh or like salt dough. Yep. And just... Just knead it a little bit, just like that. Sweet. Um, another thing we picked up, and I just, it was kind of an impulsive decision, and I'm so glad I did it. If you watch that video, I bought a tortilla press. Oh, yeah. Um, so I'm going to put uh, like a damp. I don't, we don't. Did we show it? I don't know if we I'll did. I'll show you. Because I'm not immediately making these, I'm going to cover them, I cover them with a damp paper towel. Right. I'm going to wash my hands. When we were in the market, they 
hat. It was really, really cool. And they had like everything you could ever imagine. It was like better than Walmart. Eight blocks long of all these little booths selling different things. Um, and they had these tortilla presses. They were incredibly spendy, but I made the sacrifice and bought them for 800 pesos. Is Which right? is, yeah, $4. Or, or is it 80 pesos? No, it wasn't 80. It was definitely 800. Is that how, the, how you do it? Yeah, 800 would be about $4. Or would 80 be $4? No, you're right. 80, 80 it would be $40. Sorry. Yeah. I think there was actually 90 pesos. I got the 90 peso one. Oh, the nicer one. The $4.50 one. And it's super awesome. So We smuggled this across the border. <laughs> our uh, tortilla press. So take <clears throat> one of the secrets at the class is she didn't use saran wrap. She used plastic bags. And I plastic was like, baggies? I'm like, does she not have any saran wrap? But then I realized how much better they were than saran wrap. Well, they hold their shape better. Yeah, because saran wrap like gets all like, yeah. it's meant to be, to cling, right? Uh -huh. cling, I guess it's cling wrap. Because saran's just a brand, right? Yeah. But um, these bags don't. And I don't even have to, you don't even have to cut it all the way. Oh, so you do this cutting thing. Yeah, so I'm gonna make one, but then I'm gonna take a break and I'll show you something else that I got obsessed with in Mexico. So I got grabbed a little of my masa dough and made a ball. A ball. You can use this with flour, though I think it works better with corn and like they like scoffed at the idea of women. The flour tortillas. Of flour tortillas. <laughs> so <clears throat> I don't put it right in the center because it kind of presses it that way. So I just go a little bit too. And you can buy these on Amazon. You don't have to travel to a Mexican market. It's just funner that way. So if you can, I would highly recommend it. Okay, that it. one's a little big for my demonstration. Oh, Megan. Yeah, yeah this still works though. So. Yeah, and there you have. Oh, oh no. Oh, so much for your cooking oh, show. I, we gotta cut this out, edit it. I was probably a little overzealous with how Take much two. my last one was, how big it was. Okay, this time. Now we're gonna really get it right. And really, you wanna be doing it like as you're cooking them because they cook really fast um, and you don't want them to dry out beforehand. Look, Look at, that. at that. Beautiful. It is beautiful. It's kind of sticking to the plastic a little bit. Just at the thinner edges, it's fine. And then I, you can just put them on a plate and then you just start slapping them into the ungreased hot pan nice. for about 20 to 30 seconds on either side. That's really awesome. And they're so good. They'll seem kind they of like... They taste way better. They'll seem kind of like they're going to be crispy at first when you take them off, but they soften in the like minute after they sit there. But you can eat your corn tortilla tacos and they don't fall apart like yeah. our dry corn tia, tortillas do. Let me show you <clears throat> another thing I got obsessed with. Okay. In our ugly pitcher, there is a herbal tea. Oh yeah, I had some of this earlier. Infusion essentially made from... What type of flowers is it? Um, hibiscus. Hibiscus, yeah. Made from dried hibiscus flowers. And I had it all over Mexico. It was amazing. And it's called Jamaica. It smelled like Jamaica. It looks exactly like Jamaica. It tastes a little bit like cranberry juice. Mm -hmm. It's a little um, tart. But it's really good for you. It's really high in antioxidants and vitamin, I think, A and C. And um, it's super yummy vitamins. and refreshing. And like we went to one place in the market where they mixed it with like soda water. Oh yeah, we showed that. It was so good. Yeah, it's the best. So I made it without sugar by just, you like boil, you put pour boiling water over the hibiscus, dried hibiscus flowers, and I you can get them on Amazon or at your local Latin market. And then I let it steep for five hours. Mm. Uh, then I like, what is it called? Strained it. Yep. And, this, and I added some of my like monk fruit sweetener. It's really good. It's yeah. yummy. In fact, I want some. I do too. <laughs> yummy. really refreshing mm. and it's not a tea tea you know it's not made with tea leaves it's really just like an herbal tea or an infusion mm. Mm. tart mm. i love cranberry juice though so it really hits the spot for me here you go babe thank you now what? also this is the same press that you can well you don't have to use the press but to make empanada i have empanada. a little monterey jack cheese i figured we'll just make one as a pre-dinner thing for you know you and I. Yeah. And one thing they told us that I didn't, we didn't put on the video, but empanadas and quesadillas are 
kind of synonymous, synonymous in, that area. in that area. They're like, their empanadas are mini quesadillas. So they just usually put cheese in them. Yeah, and um, just using the plastic, you fold it over. And then you're off to the races. Wow, look at that. Yes. This is exactly how Dorcas did it. Dorcas taught us well. Yes, I hope she would approve, so. Dorcas approved. <clears throat> I have some oil left over from frying the tostadas. Oh boy, is it hot enough yet? Mm -hmm. Oh no, I made a hole in it. That's like, you're not supposed to do Megan, that. Megan, rule number one, don't make a hole in the empanada. You can also bake these, but why bake something when you can fry it? Obviously. Mm, it's so gold. Mm-hmm, look good, huh? Jude is gonna make some now. We've gotta help her. Let's see. Looks good? Yep. This is on there, I'm just gonna grab these out real quick. Not that, okay, not that far, but about, here's like the center. Mm -hmm. Put it like right next to the center. Okay. Mm -hmm. close it. You gotta push it down just a little bit so that you can close that. Keep going. Mm -hmm. Yep, now open it back up. There you go, and so then, then you lift up the plastic and you kind of peel it off <coughs> and put it on your plate. And do the next one. Yeah. Yeah. You did it! You made a tortilla! All right, Jude. Do you want to come try an empanada? This is a little bit of the cilantro cream sauce left over, Dad. Mm. Mm. Ooh, it's still pretty warm. Holy moly, burning my hand. There you pretty go. Looks pretty good, huh? Yeah. Why is it so hot? We took it out like 10 minutes. Oh my gosh. This is so hot. That was really good. All right. This is hot. I love him put it down. Good little snack. Yeah, you try. It smells like pizza. Or like popcorn. Mm-hmm, popcorn. Okay, very good. Mm. Really good, huh? Very good. The lady that taught our class said she was fat because she ate too yeah. many empanadas. <laughs> sure. Hey, that's the way to get fat. <laughs> Tortillas are all done. Those are hot. Those are leftover flour tortillas that we had. Everyone's putting their really stuff in it. And then the kids all wanted empanadas. They all requested the empanadas. So Megan is obliging them with that. I heard they were done. And, and we this have is a good, like, some fish. They're super hot. We use this sure. fish for our fish tacos. It works out pretty well. Yeah. Okay, how's the food over here? So we have a friend, Connor, over. I already did. Peter is just getting his ready. Yeah, have you had any yet, Pete? No. No? How about you, Jude? Looks like you've been eating it. Do you like it? Good fish tacos. Do you like those tortillas? Yes. Are they homemade? They're homemade, man. They're awesome. Way better than store-bought. I made one. Jude made one. Whoever ate mine, you better see me. So I think on these, the, the actual taste of their tortilla adds to it. So I think flavor. And this, bite. The corn tortillas you get from the store, you're like, whatever. It kind of delivers the... the Insides to me, but I don't really like the actual taste like, of it. They have a good oh, yeah. like I said, a good chew. That's oh, yeah. way better, way better. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, the next project today, so Mom and Pearl are making some earrings. It's a, it's a, it's a stud. My mom's birthday is tomorrow, and so... You're going to be nice and make her something. Pearl is our, our resident yeah. jewelry expert. So these will each be halved, and then mm -hmm. just two of these. So okay. what are you making it out of? Polymer clay. Okay. Then, oh, that's uh, where the pasta machine went. <laughs> no, that's Pearl's. looking for that. That's from Grandma. I know. Oh, Grandma gave it to you? Mm. It's a great tool for flattening. Flattening, you... mixing. It's pretty awesome. Have you ever tried using these these parts? I tried once and they all got stuck and... I would be very went. tempted to put clay through that part for myself. <laughs> it's like Play-Doh. I just want to see what yeah. happens, yeah. Well, you want to see? Yes. Let's see, I'll do this one. 
what happens. Does it work? Yes. Whoa. Cool. It worked so, that time. I never use it. Can you make jewelry out of that? Um, I tried once. It didn't work. It was okay. You can make fake pasta, make people think they're having dinner and they're not. They so this is your, what is this, this is your like, inspo, inspo pick. It looks like something my mom would wear. Wait, uh -huh. do we mix all that? Yeah, yeah okay. that's good. Okay, I guess we'll see how it turns out. What are you doing? Mom is working on those earrings. He's exactly. And Jude, while she was doing that, got a haircut from Esther. Mm -hmm. It looks pretty good. Your hair was looking pretty long before. You couldn't see your ears. Or your eyebrows. No. So, <laughs> looks pretty good. Does it feel good? Yes. Yeah. Feels lighter? Yes. Much cool. lighter. Awesome. And I don't have to deal with hair in my eyes. You don't have to do what? I don't have to deal with hair in my eyes. Yeah, that's no, no. fun. But now it's bedtime, so Jude's going to bed. And Eve. Actually, so, yeah, I won't show. It's almost 10. You're right, it's almost 10 o'clock. Those two shows. Peter and Asher as well. Ma, uh, Pearl's still helping Mom with the earrings, so she can stay it's up. It's nighttime. Say goodnight, Eve. Good night. Good night. Yeah. Good night. Yeah. Bye. That looks awesome. Meanwhile, this is the project over here. We just did something really cool. Look at this. What? We used copper leafing on this. Whoa. Like you just crash. put it through the little thingy there. We can May I see like it? Beads. Oh, so, so I'm gonna go on dinner. You're gonna try it with something else with the silver. With different colors. What? Oh. Whoa, that looks kind of thin. Is this a good idea? Oh. Cool. That looks That's like really cool. Yeah, it's super cool. You guys what are, are so do with it, creative. Know, we're gonna make like bajillion of these. You should sell some of these. <laughs> what did she say? I don't know, but we're gonna make like a bajillion what of these. Go in the <laughs> oven? Mom. Of course it can go in the oven. Yeah. It's easy. Just go put it in it. So we completed well, parts. Well, mm -hmm. the cooking is done. We're like halfway. <laughs> so we're halfway we're there. What we're gonna do for grandma is these four. She was a good muse. She made us think of new ideas as we were thinking of what she would like. Mm. So those are cool. Then two sets of these like fabric-y ones. Mm -hmm. Well, actually three. And then these cool ones. They're kind of sparkly. Oh yeah, and then we made like a cuff. But we need to resin some of them. I also have these. These were the first ones I made, but now they look so bland. Yeah. Man, how boring, Megan. <laughs> yeah. Okay, it's the next morning and Pearl and I are literally leaving in like um, two minutes and we just finished everything. So I will show you what we did. Okay, so we did three from this series. Pearl resined that pair, so that looks cool. And then we have a cuff that goes with it. And then we did these silvery ones, which are super cool. So now we're gonna head off and go to lunch with grandma. So thanks for coming along with our making, baking, creating day. We had a lot of fun. Um, I can totally see why Pearl does this. If you guys didn't know Pearl has a business, we'll put a link down below to her jewelry business on Instagram um, where she sells her jewelry. Maybe some of these designs will show up there. But till next time, we love you. Don't forget to comment and subscribe. Head over to northernsouth.com and see ya.